Hey guys and welcome back to our Devlog series. This is Ash from Brood Games, an indie game dev studio developing our very first game, a Metroidvania titled Winds of Arcana Ruination. And this series logs our progress so that you can be part of our dev journey. So in the past devlog, we discussed how we added a few core mechanics to the game so as to fit in the Metroidvania style. So make sure you check that out if you're interested. And in this video, we'll be talking about the following. New weapons, new enemies, new UI, and additional stuff that we have not yet finalized on making. But a devlog with the team is a long and complicated process and new things happen every other day. So I need to cover them as well in an impromptu without getting a chance to plan it in advance and even have footage ready for it. Sheesh. Anyway, let's start off with the new weapon that we have added to the game. As planned previously, we now have a Chakram. These are supposed to be mid-range weapons. We already had swords for short-range combat and you don't really need a long-range weapon in a platformer, so a mid-range weapon seemed the best fit. So Taufik, our 3D artist, modeled the Chakrams in Blender. Meanwhile, Vikas animated the Chakram animations for Aaron. After that, Yash coded the weapon into the game and this is how it looks. The VFX, by the way, just a placeholder as of now, will help players differentiate between different variants of the Chakrams. And now that the prototype is up and running in the game, we will make further polishes to the animations and timing. And make sure that you give your own feedback down in the comments below. And while you're at it, please drop us a like and a subscribe, but only if you think it's well deserved. Enemies. Coming to the enemies, we added three new ones. The process of designing the enemies remains the same as designing the weapons. Sid does the concept, Taufik models it, Vikas rigs and animates, then Yash codes it in. So two of the new enemies that we are adding to the game are supposed to be more of an annoyance than a proper foe. The mutilated Felspawn Grasper. They don't technically attack you, but are an aggro surface, so as to pose as an obstacle during narrow platforming sections and keep the player active during traversal. Yash also coded in an option whereby we can toggle it to crawl towards the player. Enabling this depends on the game balancing later on. The second enemy is an aerial one. They would fly around in an area and will have an aggro surface. And just like the last one, we have left an option for them to traverse towards the player. What exactly are these, we are not sure. And finally introducing the fell spawn spiders. This would be hidden in the ceilings of the level and just as the player is under them, they'd string onto the player to take a crusty bite. And we think that the string adds a really interesting dynamic as it appears between the background and the foreground. And now that we had two of the three weapon classes, we needed a proper character customization menu where the player can select their weapons and other equipments, such as rune shards, which by the way, if you didn't know, are magical shards that massively affect a player's playstyle. This is the first iteration of it, focusing mostly on the layout and functionality as the design and the icons are placeholders as of now. This one is simple and we plan to maintain that so as to not overwhelm the player. And about the unscripted things, we have also added multiple heavy attacks with relevant animations for the different variations of swords. Have a look! And that's pretty much it for this devlog. Thanks a ton for watching and make sure you like the video and drop a sub to our channel if you enjoyed the video. Also, wishlisting our game on Steam would be a great help to us, as Steam recommends games with higher wishlists. We currently have about 400 wishlists and are trying to get that number to 2000 before July end. So some help would be really, really appreciated. Thanks a ton in advance. And until next time, peace out.